Hey guys! Alright, we're back in Banjo-Tooie for some Maya Hem Temple action. Or some Maya Hem Temple Maya Hem. Anyway, so, over here you'll see a honeycomb. We cannot get that yet. We can't just do this in there, even though we totally could fit in there. So there's gotta be some other gimmick to that. Well, there totally is. And there's a whole bunch of other gimmicks to a whole bunch of other things. And I think there is a friend down there. Yes, there is. Damn, I couldn't quite get him just from falling in the water. So let's see, which one are you? Okay, red. Red has six. Well, he was obviously red. The only other thing close to that is orange, but he's not orange. Okay, that we can't do with yet because, well, we don't have something they should have put in the first game. Ah! Crap. Those things. Those... As you notice, this level has a lot of similarities with the first level of the first game, the first world of the first game, because I, I, I think they wanted to add some familiarity there, and they did a good job with that. Also, next is the greatest thing ever. Five notes in one bundle. You found some notes, boy. Now, come and find me. Okay, so we picked up notes. Why is this the greatest thing ever? Well, one, they come in bunches of five, and two... Notes are now no longer directly tied to the worlds that they're in, so they will not appear, reappear if you die or leave the world. Which means once you pick up notes, you pick them up for good. Which is something they really needed in the first game, because I had to get the notes from Rusty Bucket Bay three or four times. This mumbo pad. Mumbo stand on it to perform feats of magic. Okay, so Mumbo is going to go do Mumbo things later, because we need Mumbo to do Mumbo stuff on those Mumbo pads, because only Mumbo can unlock the stuff that requires unlocking to get to stuff that it requires unlocking. Okay. You collected a skill stop, Honeycomb. Press B to stop your energy bar as close to the top as possible. Crap. Alright, so these things are kind of irritating. Or at least they can be, because later in the game they get a lot faster, and you could end up with one Honeycomb real easily. What's your deal, Slim? Stop right there. What do you want? We want to go in there and it sounds cool. Of course it's cool. Everyone wants to see the stony kickball games. And aside then, Bozo, we'll miss the action. Bozo? I'm Officer Ungopaz. 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 There ain't tickets left. They sold out while you were playing Banjo-Kazooie. Fuck. We don't want to watch. We're here to kick butt and win. Nice try, but I'm afraid you can't. The games are only open to stonies. Oh, go on, please. Nope. How about a bribe? How dare you? This is a respectable organization. Get lost, both of you. Well, he showed us. Get out, anyway. So, we're just gonna keep going through the world. We got more notes to pick up. All right, all right. I should probably move a little faster. If you could stand the bird noises for a little longer, I would like to move a little faster. Sup? Hey! Hit your sorry hide over here! Press B! Okay. Let's do what the random guy says. What up? Drill Sergeant Jam Jars, reporting for duty. Sir! Andrew, get a load of this bozo. He looks like bottles in uniform. Of course I look like bottles, you punk. He's my brother. Ah, those eyes. How's the gate keeping anyhow? Not too good. Recently deceased at the hands of the grunt of the witch. Sorry to hear that, flea ball. Did you go out fighting? Playing cards, actually. Typical. So you'll be wanting to learn, to learn some of my special moves that, to get even with the witch, huh? Not really. Bottles taught us loads in the last game. Bah! He only knew novice moves. You'll get nowhere without my moves. Sounds good to us, Jam Jars. Why not teach us a few? Not that easy, punk. You gotta prove your sorry selves first by collecting me a few notes. Come back if you can find enough. Hey, wait a minute. I see you've got enough notes for my first lesson. Listen and learn, you punks. What you need is name and sight. Hit the target that you might. First person view my present up. Press to fire with accuracy. That's not a rhyme. That'll be all. Dismissed! Bam! Okay, so what he gave us is pretty damn useful. We can now use an aiming sight to fire eggs, which is awesome. 
One of the, another one of those things they could have used in the first game. Then again, we couldn't fire eggs in first person in the first game, I think. So there's still notes, and there's notes leading all the way up to the temple. We'll get those right in one sec. Here's our first connector pad. He found another warp pad. Move on to it and press B to warp to any other atom that they have activated in the world. Ah. Whew. Okay. So. More notes. More notes. More notes. More notes. You. And... Around back, there's something fancy we can get. This thing. What is this? Nice one, punk. Triple clefs are worth a mighty 20 notes. Out here, we got our yellow Jinjo. Yellow! There's only three in that family. We're one third of the way done. What's your problem, Heifer? Look at the state of poor Movita's field. I'm just mortified. No oh dear, how can we help? Get rid of those pesky flies, of course. Say your prayers, flies. Oh, I could have waited to do this, because there's something else we can get. But, whatever, it's fly killing time, which we can use our newfound power to get. Die, flies, die. Right, it's pretty easy, you just aim and press Z, and the flies will die if you aim right. Amusing! I corn! <laughs> Hardly believe it. <laughs> and if out of the cow jokes, lady, I believe you, Ois. Ooh, I guess I do. <laughs> and then she shout out to Jiggy. Awesome. So that's Jiggy number one for this world. There's actually another one we could have gotten first, but I really wanted to get that one first. Because I'm awesome. And I'm doing the LP. So let's see that. Let's see, it's seven minutes. We can actually probably get a lot of preliminary stuff done in this world. And a few jiggy things. Like climbing this freaking temple and getting the damn jiggy. Cheektastically. Uh oh. Wait, we can't just walk up and get the. Could have sworn we could. Wait. Hold up. Uh, I guess not. Wait, there's gotta be a way up. Okay. Uh, we'll ignore that for now. Could have sworn there was a jiggy up there. At least I'm pretty damn sure there is. Let's kill you, then I'll take a better look. Because I can zoom in and stuff. Yeah, there's one in a hand up there. How do I get up there? I'll work that out later. Okay. Let's go see Mumbo real quick, because we've got a couple things to do. Whoop. You've caught a Globo! They're supposed to have magical powers! Mumbo, why are you asleep on the job? We got shit to do. Get up! Get up! Alright. Ah, Baron Bird, here at last! Mumbo, best shaman in games, so build new skull. Mumbo also want to help, but must find magical creature. We got a Globo! Must give magical creature to Mumbo if one help. Want Mumbo help? Yes. Here we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo bag. Globo! Sheriff Globo? Sheriff Globo! Anyway, let's see. Ah, Mumbo get to be hero at last! Press B to see Mighty Shaman Zap Stick. Return me to my chair when want to be Baron Bird again. Yes, we're playing as Mumbo! It's so unbelievably awesome, it's... unbelievably awesome. So. With our Mighty Shaman Zap Stick, there are a couple things we need to do. Alright. Hold up. Because we have an unlimited duration with Mumbo, but Mumbo can only do a couple of things. Like fire his Magic Shaman Zap Stick. Yep, stick. Magic Shaman Chapstick! And then, um... There are also, like you saw, Mumbo Pads in every world. And out of the world. 
And these pads are what Mumbo needs to get onto in order to make stuff happen. So let's see. Hope this works. And Mumbo has a certain spell for every single world. Summon Golden Goliath. What a conveniently placed, what a conveniently placed Goliath. Yeah, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up there and kick that one for... Because what the Goliath is gonna do is stop looking at your feet. Mumbo Magic Big Golden Goliath rise. Magic only lasts a short time. To control me again, return statue to base and press B. Okay, so we're probably gonna be controlling the Goliath a couple of times while this is, uh, going. Uh oh Pay attention to where you're going, not to the screen, because I had to check the time. Goliaths can walk over here and kick the hell out of these heads. And then can walk over here and kick this door. Now that door's been kicked in, we can leave that alone for the rest of the game. However, there are a couple things we need to get. Because a Goliath can just walk down these stairs now. But, the door we need to get to is all the way down here because they really don't like me. It should have been obvious, though, they have a convenient mumbo face on them. Kick that open. And go inside. Because the Goliath is cool like that. You might say it's cool Goliath. Really? Cool Goliath. And out here, there are Jiggy to get. Let's see if I can make it in time, because there's something else the Goliath needs to do. Uh, I could probably do it. I could probably do it. Alright. Three. Two. I mean, eight. Okay, so the Goliath has done everything the Goliath has needed to do. Cool. Mumbo magic run out. And the Goliath stops. But the Goliath has now done everything the Goliath needs to do, all in one run, which is fantastic. So now we're done with Mumbo, which is sad. So let's take Mumbo back to the house. Then we can take Banjo and Kazooie on an exploring spree. Yeah, this world is not as, uh... One major difference between the worlds in this game and the worlds in Banjo Kazooie is that these worlds are pretty much never doable in one run. There is. They're not very fast. You can't get through them very quickly, like you could in the first game. Like, I got through Mumbo's Mountain, and I think by my record is like 12 minutes. But, um. What are we up to in this one, anyway? So, let's see. Yeah, see, we're already at 13 minutes in this world, so... Yeah, no so much for that. We're not even close to the way done. I've only gotten one Jiggy. Well, two Jiggies. I got two Jiggies, because I got the one, uh, from... from... Ooh, I think that was her name. No, I think it was, like, Petunia or something. I don't remember. But, uh... And I got the one at the statue. So let's take the statue... Let's take the... thing back to the entrance. And we can use that to, um, sort of go through this door. Sort of go through this door. Not sort of, you fool. Whatever. So, we are now in the Jade Snake Grove. This area will be slightly important. Hey, another, what the hell? Another gin yellow Jinjo. That's awesome. So we have a hundred notes. We have every note in this world. And we, we can pretty much get anything Jam Jars will give us for the next two worlds. Grip grab. Move along with the greatest of ease. Press down button B to attack, would you please? I got totally out of the tune there. Whatever, be smashed. Squab. Anyway, so what he just gave us is awesome. We can grab ledges now. Honestly, should have been the first game, but there was no cause for it in the first game, so... Whatever. And then we can find another warp pad. And we can... Find this area up here. Which is pretty fancy. Because there's something we can get up here that we couldn't otherwise get. Wait. Couldn't otherwise get what? So... With group, well, we couldn't get up here with, without Grip Grab, that's for sure. But we can get up here without Grip Grab. Okay, so over there we have a snake. 
And one thing this game likes to do is throw puzzles that require sneaking. So I'm going to hold down the stick as much as I can without pushing forward. Try and get the G from... Damn it! From the sleeping snake. Thought you'd steal Slumber's gold while he slept, did you? Well, yes, to be honest. S but I heard you coming. Clumsy bear. Oh. Okay. Splendid. They seem to have gone. Must get some more sleep. Your name is Slumber. I feel like you get enough sleep. Okay, so push forward very slowly. No. That's not how we do it. It can be sort of irritating. There's a strong desire usually to pull up. I'm just gonna not talk while I do this. Just imagine I'm talking. Fuck. <sighs> we'll get this. Damn it! I was so close. Hold up. If it gets too bad, I'll just cut to it. I'll probably cut to it anyway. Because it can sometimes take a while, especially if you don't have steady hands, because I don't have steady hands. I can never be an MD because of that. But, uh... Up. Uh, and my hand keeps wanting to just, like, jerk around when I have to keep it this still. Well, not really, but sort of. It feels that way. Yeah! And magically, he doesn't wake up anymore, even when we walk across the stuff. Over there we have just a sign, but over there we have something else. Something very worth getting. Oh, we're at about 17 minutes. Uh oh. Anyway, okay, so, I think I'm probably going to leave it when we get to whatever this is, but, uh, yes, alright, uh oh, it's a page from a book, ooh, go into the layer, well done, you found one of my missing pages, collect five, then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain, sad Cheeto, okay, so now, We've gotten one out of five cheetah... One out of five cheetah pages? I think there are three cheetah pages in each world. Let's look at the totals. Yeah, there's three cheetah pages in each world, three jam jars things on this world, five Jinjos in each world, and ten jiggies and two globos. But as for the globo, and as for what's in there, I will deal with that later. And there's really nothing else in this area except for the thing that I'm going towards, because the thing that I'm going towards... Ah... Actually, I'm going to save that for later, and let's just... Hey, hey, hey. Watch it. Okay. Let's just, um, teleport back to the world entry, because we can just go there any time now. Actually, I'm going to teleport up to Mumbo. I don't know. I think it, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Okay. So, in regards to that... In the next part, we will get a little more done here, and... Well, we might get a significant amount done here, actually. But I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.